Okay, now I'm going to be going over what it's like to host or GM um, a game in my RPG. Um, first, what I'm going to do is show you a game that I've created and I have people playing in right now. Um, and then I'm going to show you how to do it. So, first what I'll do is, scrolling down in the My Games section, my game's called Hanak Village. Um, you'll notice that there's a little star in the side here. Um, basically what that's for is it, uh, it gives people an idea as to whether or not your game is still active. And um, when you first create a game, you can see here I created a game for the test, uh, for the tutorial not too long ago. Um, you start off with 10 points, and every day that the Game Master logs in, you gain 2 points, activity points. But also every single day at 9 a.m., um, 2 points are subtracted, so that sort of keeps everything sort of moving along. So in about five days after I created this uh, test for tutorial, if there hasn't been any activity in it, it'll go down and become small like these ones. In my game, going into it now. As soon as you get in, you can see here all of your tabs at the top, and I'm going to be going through them one by one. Um, you have your player list, which are all the active players as of right now. Um, if I were to click on each of these players, it would drill into them uh, I'd be able to et, uh, look at and edit their parameters and their stats, um, also looking at their inventory, whatever they hold. Um, clicking on the user will bring you to a user profile. Um, I'll click on it now just to, uh, just to show you. Uh, so you can see that character is being controlled by Halcene, and he, uh, you can send him a private message. This is just a quick link button that takes you to the private messaging system, automatically fills out Halcene. Um, you can see when the last time he was on, you can see he's actually on right now because was last activity is 12 seconds ago as well as other games that he's playing in right now. Um, okay, and then also you'd be able to delete this tune or character if you wanted to. Um, uh, if you had uh, someone who had applied to enter your game, um, they might have applied and they'll, they'll, it'll show the character name as well as the, uh, the user and you'd be able to have a look at their application and you can approve it or deny it, their application. Uh, the other thing you'll notice is you have all of your game chats. Um, you are able to edit everyone's game chats, not just your own, um, because you're the game master, you have complete control over the game in its entirety. You can delete other people's messages as well, and there's no warning when you delete it. It'll, it'll just completely disappear, so just be careful about this button right here. Um, the first thing that you'll need to do is obviously create new entries. Um, pr the first one is pretty, uh, pretty self-explanatory. You just enter in your message, and then you can choose out-of-character comment. Um, the out-of-character comments can be filtered by the players. They can either see them or not see them. The default is always on, so they can see them. Um, but if there ends up being a lot of out-of-character comments, they're able to turn it off. GMs don't have that luxury because they do make, need to make sure they're on top of everything all the time. So um, they don't, they're not able to filter out-of-character comments, and everything is always available to them at the, all the time. Um, there's a couple of emoticons to play with, and there will be more for sure. I know I'm missing some very basic ones, like a smiley face. <laughs> um, okay, two other types of messages. Um, you have the dice roll message, and really all this is, is it uh, makes it a little simpler to put together um, dice formulas. So there's a fairly advanced system for this now. Um, what you can do, let's say you wanted to add a formula together. You can go, I want to add a d20 dice, and you can see your formula is gonna gonna be added here. Uh, let's say I want to add a d6, maybe three of them. Excuse me, maybe three of them and a d10, and then I want to, you know, add 20 as well. And let's say I wanted to divide the whole thing in half. Everything is possible with this. Um, you can do this, or you can take the the one d six rolls and go one or three d six, just like that, and it'll interpret the three here as three six sided dice rolls. This being, of course, one sided twenty roll. Um, and that's about it. Then you just go ahead and add the formula to your message. You can say you attempt to do something. Add the formula. 
and then of course you're going to have to send your message um, and when you do send the message this will be completely calculated out the original formula will still be available to see as a hint and I will show you that now so I'm just sending um, okay so here's your the resulting um, the resulting roll and it was a successful roll if there is any problem with the formula like you added some letters that it didn't recognize or doesn't understand the error would be posted here as well so yeah there is your there's the results of your roll you got your 1d20 roll which ended up being 13 and then you have your 3d sixes which were 5 2 and 4 and then you have plus uh, 1d10 which ended up being 10 and then plus 20 and there's your plus 20 divide the whole thing by 2 and you get 27 now a player in fact can do dice rolls just the same way but they'll need to know how to do how to code it so basically dice rolls very simply you have your curly brackets and then you put your formula in and that's as simple as that and so if a player really wanted to do a dice roll on their own they could just do that exactly the way I just did it right now. Oh, look at that. What are the odds? Um, okay, so... That's the dice rolls. Now I'm going back, and you'll see that there's one more tab. This hasn't been implemented yet, unfortunately. But basically what will happen is you'll be able to set up almost like a multiple choice that everyone is able to choose. And they are... A, um, a, able to select if they want to A, go east, B, go north, C, attack a random dude. They can do whatever they want. And then once everyone has voted, the GM will be able to see the result of that. And there's no tampering or anything, or, or having to, you know, tally anything. All that will be handled by the system itself. Um, and it'll just be much easier for, for the Game Master to poll um, its players.